as you probably know, mooring lines breaking under tension can snap back at great speeds, much like a stretched rubber band when released. Tests performed on parting lines have shown speeds of the line tip in excess of 500 feet per second. The heavy ship mooring lines moving at these speeds carry a lethal force. But with caution the dangers of line snapback can be avoided, as most risks on board ships. Observe the line on the port side breaking. You will see the line first travel in a straight path, then swing out as it goes around the pulley. Generally lines will snap straight back if unobstructed, and sweep out wide to go around pulleys or bollards. That was a little too fast to see. The speed is what makes snapback so dangerous. We will now slow it down so that you can see. Keep your eye on the left part of the line. Watch it swing out as it goes around the pulley. Let's see it again. Keep your eye on the left part, but observe how the line first moves in a straight path, then goes around the pulley. Now look at the right side of the parting line. You will see the line move back. Anyone standing there could be injured as well. The line will now snap at the pulley on the starboard side of the ship. In this case the line will not have a chance to gather enough lateral momentum to swing out appreciably. Instead both sides of the parting line will move back in a straight line. Watch the left side first. That was too fast to see again. Recall lines snapping back can achieve speeds greater than 500 feet per second. We will slow it down. Watch again and focus on the left side of the line. The line does not swing out because the brake occurs at the pulley. Not much lateral speed is built up. But watch how far back the line moves. The line moved aft beyond the bollard. Anyone standing aft of the bollard could be injured. Now look at the right side of the parting line. It moves straight back, further aft of the capstan. Anyone standing forward or aft of the capstan could be injured. We have seen that lines will snap back in a straight line if unobstructed, and will swing around a pulley or bollard. But remember a line might break anywhere, and where it breaks will affect its path. You should try to anticipate all possible paths. Now let's see what happens on impact from a line. That did not go so well for our friend. We will try a few more scenarios. Do you think there will be contact? Try to predict what will happen. Try to predict again if our friend will be hit. He will now move to position. As we wait, I should remind you that snapback is not only for ships. Line snapback can occur when towing vehicles or using a winch. Also, while synthetic lines stretch quite a bit and are more dangerous than stiffer lines, all lines can snap back if loaded enough. Even chains can snap back.
we will move our friend again. It is important to emphasize that while you should respect and beware of the lines, you should not fear them so much that you cannot approach them. In general, the snapback danger zones will be marked on the deck of the ship. You should stay away from these zones when the lines are being strained. But you should also anticipate where a line might snap. With caution and training shipboard dangers can be avoided. Can you predict what will happen to our friend? The lines will be susceptible to breakage when the capstan is being tightened, or when a ship is passing by that could move your ship enough to strain the lines. Also, high winds can put tremendous forces on the mooring lines. We have reached the end of this film. Lines will snap back in a straight line if unobstructed, and will swing out around pulleys or bollards. Snapback is not just for synthetic lines. Steel lines and chain will also snap back, as well as natural rope. Lines will tend to break at sharp bends, but they may break on a linear section first if it has been weakened. Remember that snapback is most likely to occur when tightening the line or at high winds, or when the wake of a passing ship strains the line. And you should also remember that snapback is not just for ships. If you are towing a vehicle or using a winch of any kind, there is a potential for snapback. And finally remember that if you are careful, if you stay out of the marked deck areas and if you anticipate where lines might break, you can avoid the dangers of snapback.